I know you have a love hate relationship with Nikon, as so many others does. The question that we need to ask ourselves now at the moment is whether the Nikon Z6 II is really a camera that you will spend your money on. It's still a 24.5 megapixel camera. It still has a dual card slot, which is something that a lot of cameras still don't have and a lot of people hasn't adopted fully yet. I think that to me is one of the key sellers of a Nikon Z6 II. It does 4K recording it was an external recorder. You can actually do 4K 60 on a Atmos Ninja 5. Well, I want to look at this camera in comparison to some of the other cameras that are currently out there on the market at the moment. I've been using this camera for about two and a half years now. I did the initial transition from DSLR to mirrorless. And at the time I was using the Nikon D750 and the equivalent of the Nikon D750 was in fact the Nikon Z6 II. Fortunately, it came with the FTZ connector included, as well as a 24-70 f4 lens, which is absolutely brilliant. I have to say, the gloss of the Nikon cameras, especially the Z-mount lenses, is on point. I chose two cameras to do a side-by-side -side comparison on. One is a bit older and one is a 2023 camera. The older one is the Sony a7 III because the Sony a7 III is primarily used for videography, is used for content creation and majority of your major, of your big content creators were using a Sony a7 III up until recently where a lot of other cameras started coming out. So, it doesn't mean that you immediately have to eliminate everything else when it comes to selecting a camera. Nikon is still brilliant. Uh, Canon is still out there, Panasonic is out there, uh, Olympus, Fuji. From a Nikon Z62 perspective, I think one of the biggest things for me on the Nikon Z62 is ergonomics. The, it feels good in your hand. It has a really nice grip. It, the weight is, is absolutely brilliant. It, I use this as a my backup camera or my second camera for wedding photography. Usually what I do is I have my Nikon D850 and I will have a Tamron 24-70G2 linked onto the cam connected onto that camera specifically. And then I will use the uh, Nikon 105 Macro F2.8 onto the Nikon C62. And obviously that will be connected via, the, via an FTZ connector. So, like I mentioned, I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison. The two cameras, as I mentioned, the Sony a7 III, as well as the Canon EOS R8. The Canon EOS R8 is a 2023 camera. From a rating perspective, overall, the Nikon Z6 II and the Sony, they have an overall rating of 89. From a, from a functionality perspective, the overall rating is, is the same. Key features for both. The Sony is a 24 megapixel, Nikon is a 24.5, which is rounded off to 25. ISO 1 to 100 to 51,200. Shift sensor image stabilization on both. The Sony has a three, the Nikon has a 3.2 inch screen, where the Sony has a 3 inch. Viewfinder is better on the Nikon, 3.69 million, and the Sony has a 2.36 million. Continuous shooting, Nikon is at 14 frames per second, where the Sony is at 10. The video both can do 4K video, both of them has 120 frames per second on 1080p. So you can see already there's a lot of similarities when it comes to these two cameras. So let's start with the reasons, reasons why you choose the Nikon over the Sony. Viewfinder magnification is higher, the sensor resolution is higher, the screen is better. The LCD resolution is higher, the continuous shooting mode is higher, the viewfinder resolution is higher. The Nikon has a top LCD which the Sony doesn't have. Focus bracketing on the Nikon, yes. Minimum focus, seven, uh, minimum focus sensitivity for the Nikon is uh, minus 4.5 whereas the Sony is EV minus 3. And the Nikon uses Compact Flash Express and SD card whereas the Sony only has SD cards. Well. Reasons why to choose the Sony over the Nikon. The number of focus points where the, where the Nikon only has 273, the Sony has 693. The battery life is about 200 shots longer, the weight is about 50 grams less, dynamic range is about 0.2 better than the, than the Nikon. The low ISO sensitivity, the Sony is better from with low ISO. 
and it has NFC connection. From a camera body perspective, the Sony and the Nikon is currently going at exactly the same price for body only. $1,996 for the Nikon, $1,998 for the Sony. The second camera is obviously the Canon. The overall rating for the Canon is 83 and the, Ni and the Nikon is at 89. From a video perspective, the Canon is then better than the Nikon in this regard. Reasons to choose the Canon over the Nikon. The Canon has unlimited video recording, crop at 4K60. There's no crop on it, whereas the Nikon has a crop factor of 1.5. The Canon has a pre-shooting buffer, the lens breathing correction, uh, max ISO is double that of the Nikon. Number of focus points, the Canon's focus points is even better than the, Sony, than the Sony's. Continue shooting at 40 frames per second, so from a sports photographer and those type of things, the Canon is definitely a much better camera in that regard. The weight is almost half that of the, of the Nikon's. Dynamic range is about 0.1 points higher. The max bit rate, the, best, the bit rate for the Nikon is 144 megabytes per second, whereas the Canon's max bit rate is at 340 megabytes per second. And the Canon has obviously introduced vehicle tracking as well, which the Nikon's don't have yet. And the other reasons why the Nikon Z6 II is better than the Canon. Inbuilt image stabilization, image inbuilt. Inbuilt image stabilization on the Nikon, which the Canon doesn't have. The viewfinder magnification is higher, the sensor resolution is higher by 0.5, the LCD screen is 0.2 bigger, LCD resolution is, is higher with uh, 21k dots per inch, whereas the Canon is at 1620. The maximum mechanical shutter speed for the Nikon is at 1800, so for your high speed sync and so forth. The Nikon is obviously a lot, it's better there than the, than the Canon. The Canon is at 1, 1 over 4000. Battery life is a lot higher as well. So you get 410 with the Nikon, whereas you get 290 with the Sony. If you find the resolution is higher, similar to the Sony and the Nikon. The Nikon has a top LCD, as mentioned earlier. Storage card slots, the Nikon has two, with the Canon has one. The Nikon supports Compact Flash Express. So, <coughs> Just listening to some of the features and some and doing a comparison, look, a 2018 camera, a 2020 camera, and a 2023 camera. These three cameras, the the base specs are basically the same. They are those key features that obviously everyone needs to be aware of. What are the things that you actually need and what are the things that you don't need? It's a decision that you need to make for yourself. But the Nikon Z6 II in 2023, it's definitely a camera that is still worth looking into. It's still worth buying in 2023. Let me know what you think. Um, if, if, if you have a different feel regarding this entire thing, let me know.